Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the third grade concept of fractions, specifically how we can compare them, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So fractions can be compared in third grade when you're looking at two fractions that either have the same numerator or the same denominator. So let's start with the easier of the two, and that would be if you have two fractions that have the exact same denominator. So I'm going to use some number lines here. And I'm trying my hardest to make them as even as possible so we can compare them. And I'm going to draw two different fractions here. So I'm going to cut each of these into half. I'm going to cut each of the halves into halves. And now I've got fourths. Then I'm going to cut each of the fourths into halves. So I'm going to end up with eighths. Half of a half is a fourth. Half of a fourth is an eighth. And so if I were to draw one dot right here on this bottom one, and then if I were to draw another dot a little bit farther along on the first one, I can compare these two fractions. Both of these fractions are going to have the same denominator. So that's one easy way to compare fractions if they have the same denominator. If we count the number of spaces, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight spaces. So both of these are broken up into eighths. That's how we can compare them. This dot on the top if you start from the left and then you move to the right, it's one, two, three, four little tick marks over. So this fraction right here represents four eighths. So I'm going to kind of shade that in right there. This bottom fraction right here is only three tick marks over. One, two, three. So it's three eighths. And if I wanted to shade this in, I could compare this. So this is 3 eighths, and this is 4 eighths. And it's pretty easy to compare because you can see that the 4 eighths is a little bit larger. So we could say 4 eighths is larger than 3 eighths. When the denominators are the same, remember the denominators are the bottom numbers, and they show you that both fractions are broken up into the same number of pieces. Both of these fractions are broken up into eighths, and it's easy to compare them by just looking at the numerators, the top numbers, because you can see which one has the larger numerator. The larger numerator is the larger fraction if the denominators are the same. So what happens if the denominators are different but the numerators are the same? So I'm going to take, we're going to look at two different examples. Let's just look at these circles right here. So I'm going to take this circle, I'm going to split it up into thirds, and I'm going to shade in two of them. So this is going to be two thirds. The numerator is two, denominator is three. And then I am going to take this particular circle, same size circle, but I'm going to break it up into eight pieces, eighths. And then I'm going to shade in two pieces. And it doesn't really matter that the two pieces are not next to each other. So we have two fractions that we can compare simply because the numerators are the same. And take a look at this two thirds over here on the left. You can see that these pieces are much larger than the pieces over on the right. And so what happens is it's a strange thing with fractions. The bigger the denominator, the smaller the pieces. Take a look at these thirds. These thirds are much bigger chunks than these eighths over here on the right. That's because as the denominator gets bigger, each piece gets smaller because I take the same whole and I break it up into more and more pieces. So I would say that two thirds is greater than two eighths. Because if I take a hole and break it up into just three pieces, that's going to be pretty big. But if I take the same hole and break it up into eight pieces, each piece is going to be a lot smaller. If we look at these rectangles, we can look at the exact same thing happening. So I'm going to take this rectangle here on the left, and I'm going to break it up into fourths. And I'm going to shade in three of them. So let's go ahead and write our fraction over here. We're going to see three out of four pieces shaded in. The rectangle on the right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it up in fourths. I'm going to make each fourth cut in half, and so that's going to give me eighths. And I'm going to take each of these eighths and I'll go ahead and put them next to each other just so we can see. But as you can tell, each of my eighths are much smaller than each of my fourths because I broke them into smaller pieces. So we can say that three fourths is greater than three eighths because the numerators are the same and each of these fourths is a much bigger chunk than each of these eighths. 